Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ratchet and Clank at Kraken Time. In the previous episode, we started fixing some planets, and, uh, what else did we do? Is that, was that the last episode where we found out about the new three bad guys that are like the tertiary people? I don't know, maybe that was the episode before that, I can't remember. I'm losing track now. Anyway. Uh, my dog is now walking around making noise, so if you can hear noises in the background again, it's the dog. It's the doggy. Look at this. Look at this. They purposely make you hurt yourself. Tis tis tis. Planet Tarachnos. Let's fix you. Let's fix you right up. 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 So, uh, yeah, I stopped the other episode just whenever I did because I was like, I think, I was thinking we were gonna be coming to an end soon. I mean, we'd probably have a cutscene soon, maybe. Uh, slow time. Ooh, we're getting more and more time, or more and more power-ups each time. I like this. I like this a lot. All right. Let's go. Wiggle the planet in circles. There's Antarctica. And let's go. It's pretty cool that they designed like these other planets like this in the game, and they couldn't make them look like exactly like Earth, so they had to make them look different. But they still had to have areas where they could um, have people walk on stuff. But like this is clearly like water and stuff. It's just interesting. Okay, it's just a cool nifty idea. That's all I got. That's all I gotta say. Uh, let's. Slow down time again. There's the. I like the hyper beam thing. It's so nice. Be careful not to touch them a second time. I know, I know. Holy cow. Nope, there's a lot though. There's a lot. Bombs, go, go, bombs, go. It's difficult though, because it's not like in the center of the screen, this thing that we're. Like our beam. Like it, maybe it technically kind of is, but if you notice, it's kind of moving around. It's like aim assisting onto each of the things. Bombs everywhere. We got the super supreme. Do, 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 do. Get the get the grenade bomb things. Grenade? They're not grenades. They're just like little bomb sequence things. I don't know. Hup hup. Geez, this one feels like it's taking a lot longer than the other ones. Does that mean they're gonna get more challenging too? I guess then. I guess so. Temporal normality restored to planet Tarachnos. I guess they are kind of puzzly, but they're also like mini gamey. They're more mini game than puzzle, as we mentioned before. But yeah. Oh, there's Sigmund. Oh, for crying out! I am the junior caretaker computer. Now open the door. It would not hurt to say please once in a while. Oh, it's true. It's true, true, true. All right. Hey, we're back here. Look at that. Accessing archives. Hello, Sigmund. I just wanted to let you know I will be traveling to the Tombly outpost on Xanafar and will not be back until morning. A fellow scientist has requested an audience with me, and etiquette dictates I comply. Don't go, sir. Mind the clock while I'm gone. Uh, wind the time cleaners, and, uh, Sigmund, uh, let's just keep this our little secret. As the kids say, BRB. <laughs> Please don't go. End recording. It's dangerous. It's so sad. It's so sad. Why? Video games should not make you feel that way. Shouldn't make you feel bad. It should make you feel good. That was a sad moment. Morning. Morning. Hostile ships detected. Well, well, well. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, looks like this Lombax is lost. What do you say, girls? Should we help him find his way? Kathy, we've picked up a signature 3,000 kilo cubits north of Orak Minor. It's a Lombax ship. Hmm, General Azimuth. The bounty's up to 2 million bolts on him. Libra! Be a good girl, and take care of our friend. We'll kill the Elder. 
Oh man, mistake number one, you're separating. General, come in. You've got hostile ships inbound. I see them. The Valkyries, expert pilots who work for Nefarious. I'll lose them in the asteroid belt. You just head for Lumos. Whatever you say. Is that the, uh, the low-voiced one? I don't know. I don't know which one we're fighting right now. We'll find out, I guess, when we kill them, but... Spoiler! We're gonna kill them! I hope. Otherwise, we're gonna have to take on, like, all three of them at once, and that would not be fun. Especially after my, uh, my tip of saying, like, that was mistake number one of splitting up. You don't... You don't ever split up like that. I like how we're just driving in circles, though. Okay, let's... Let's boost up here a bit. Come on. Oh, okay. Head on back around. Where's he at? Or she. She. They're all she's, technically. Oh, it is the low voiced one. Okay. You heard the captain. Time to take out 15 more ships. This I feel like this could get tedious. I don't know. We're only in like a circled area. I mean, all we can do is like... Try and hit these guys, but apparently I'm very bad at it. Move on up a bit. We got five more to kill. Let's just press X. There we go, and now we gotta find the other ship again, who's also driving in a circle. <laughs> and we move on up. Get really close to him. <laughs> oh, we almost died ourselves. Oh, that scream, though. Captain is down! I repeat, Captain is down! All units, pull back to ORAC Minor! Oh, man. We did it! We did it. We did it. We did it. So I think all these colors on these things mean different things. So like the green one just means we haven't done it yet. And then you just go to it again. It shows you. So we've got a zony on that Ratchet. thing. Ratchet, come in! Are you out there? I read you, Quark. How are things with the Agorians? Uh, not so good. Somehow they got the idea that I'm some thrill-seeking warrior with a thirst for battle. Well, did you tell them you were a thrill-seeking warrior with a thirst for battle? I was trying to make friends! Listen, I'm in a lot of trouble. They've entered me in their tournament. You gotta get me out of here! Alright, I'll be there as soon as I can. Just find some place to hide and stay put until I get there. Message received. Work out! Ooh, do we go and help Quark or do we go continue? Either or, we're furthering the story, so... I think it's this thing here. Pretty sure it's this thing. That's why I was flying towards it. But, uh, if you guys remember the battle things from the other games where there's like an arena where you just show off, this is that. It's the version in this game, which is just as good as the other games. Which I just remembered in the other games, we didn't, I didn't show off the battles unless they had something to do with the story. So like all the extra battles where you can get extra money, I wouldn't really show, which I'll still probably do the same thing for this one, unless you guys really want to see it. But no one actually really said anything last time when I said I would play them through. So I guess we could leave it at that. But also, there's a mini game here. Let's go. Look, there's one game slot open. Welcome, welcome, welcome to open fight night at the Battle Plex. You like to fight? You like to mix it up? You look like a mixer-upper. What's your name, Spoon? I'm Ratchet. <laughs> That's a silly name? What? You folks lose a bet? Kidding! I'm Mac. You have to excuse the hologram. Folks around here have a tendency to throw things. Take a look around. If you need anything, Mac's your guy. All right. Well, we know where to sign up for fights. I don't need to talk about anything else. All right. So let's go to the mini game that I was talking about. My blaster runs hot. The game. Oh, I remember this now. 
Um, there's a trophy that's associated with this. And you have to get 10,000 score. Now you would think, 10,000, that's not that high. That's really not. Uh, let's see. There we go, we can do that. Okay. It's like, that doesn't seem like such a high number. But when you keep getting 9,700, 9,990, 9,000, like all those types of things, that's what every single game was for me, and it was terrible. Absolutely terrible. I actually did, though, seriously get 9,990. Like, 10 points away. Literally one more bullet or kill would have got me it. But, uh, yeah, it's difficult. It's very difficult indeed. Now, I'm, like, kind of, I'm purposely killing myself, but not really. I'm not really focusing on trying to do well. I'm just, I just wanted to show you guys the minigame. We're, we're not trying to get 10,000. Although, like, I could show you how to do that. That would take forever for me to actually get that again. Because I remember, like, stopping playing this game and then going back to it and playing it again. Oh, it was painful. It was painful. But anyway, that's, that's that. It's a nice, fun little minigame. As we can see from all the other ones. Now let's see if the armored dude has anything new. 50,000. We might be able to actually get that after we're going here. Uh, let's see. Is there any new weapons? Can we get any? Baby, oh, yes. Price, yes, the Groovatron. The Groovatron. That means this episode is not going to have, like, grr, I'm not going to get paid for it, but that's okay. Polaris, too. Oh, that's pretty cool. We get a discount. Awesome. Okay, let's let's buy this. If you find yourself overwhelmed by enemies, the Groovatron is the perfect tool for tipping the scales back in your favor. Simply throw one into a large crowd, and the Groovatron will emit a mesmerizing tune, which triggers fits of uncontrollable dancing. This will give you extra time to replenish your ammo, make your escape, or deliver a crushing blow to your would-be dispatches using the incendiary weapon of your choice. The Groovatron Glove, available only at Grummelnet. So good, so, so good. And the buzz blades, yes! Love the blades, love them, love them, love them, ever since the second game. All right, let's go enter a battle. Look at these guys, they're ready. Look at that, ooh, he's, he's really ready, holy cow, he's he's gonna kill me. Let's go. Let's go, we gotta save Cork. so I guess it's just the basics battle. Oh yeah! New challenger. Wait, is that a lob? Oops, yep. Oh man, you may not want to leave your seats for popcorn, folks. This one should be over within seconds. Yeah, cause I'm gonna be the one to finish it. <laughs> he's talking over himself. How? Whoa, he's really good at that sort of double talking thing. It's like a beatboxer. I've never understood how to do that when you do the beatbox. Like you got the boot. <laughs> But then they have like they throw in the other stuff. It's crazy. I don't understand how you'd like do that. Crazy. I can't beatbox though, so don't ask me to. All right, let's keep shooting. Sweet. We've only used one weapon so far. We might actually upgrade this weapon. Oh no, I feel sneeze. Oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh no. No, we're not gonna sneeze. We're not gonna sneeze. We're good. That's like the worst time. It's like the time where your nose gets itchy and you're like, no, I can't, I can't scratch it. No, no, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna cough, blah, 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 blah. Luckily, I'm not sick right now, so we're pretty good in that respect. Because I know there was this point, there's been a few games in this series where I've recorded them and I was, like, sick at the time. Which was not good. Not good at all. Wow, we're on round five already. That didn't take very much time. Come on, Mr. Zircon, let's go. I've got skill. Oh, the guy with the shield. So we gotta pull away his shield. Wait, come here. Can can we fill it? Thank you. And the last guy's gone. And we should get all the bolts. They should all come to us. Maybe. Bolts, come to me. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! We did it. Look, it took like two minutes, not even. And we got some money. Mm-hmm, they're nice. Um, where's Quirk? Bros before foes? Okay. Uh, received the bigger... We get a zoni for this one. Okay. Let's do it, I guess. 
Does this one automatically fill up our ammo? Yes, it does. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I like these free ammo upgrades. Um, da -dum, da -dum. Sorry, I'm going to go into focus mode with these types of things. Because I'm just so into it. At least not dying. Oh, my ammo. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. These things would be interesting to like. It's like the, uh, what's it called? The Roman Colosseum? That's what these things basically resemble, but like intergalactic Roman Colosseums where people watch battles and like getting, seeing other people get killed and things killed and stuff. I always will remember Mr. Zircon. Jeez, this is part. This place is really loud. It's because there's a crowd of people, and I have the volume for the people up loud, and now they're all screaming like, -lo 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 -lo. and I'm like, whoa! All I'm doing is trying to see where Quark's gone. I don't know where he is. I thought this was where he wanted me to show up, though. I have skills. Mad skills. Mad skills. We've mentioned that like in game three, I think. But hey, look at that. We did it. We did it. Again, once again, like another two minutes. <laughs> you can see how quickly this could turn into like. What's it called? Uh, I don't know why I just like did that sound. But um, yeah, you can see how this would turn, could easily turn into an episode by itself. Defeat ten Angorans with their own bombs. Like, is. Is Quark in here anywhere? <laughs> Hello, sir. Would you like to throw one at me? One. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I thought I could catch it. Two. <laughs> oh, this is painfully slow. Oh good, there's two this time. Can we like get them both at the same time? Interception? That's that was pretty nifty. Oh. That I've never gotten that thing, I don't think. I don't remember ever catching it. Hey, come here. I need your you to shoot another bomb at me, please. Come on. It looks kind of like the uh, the evil red thing from uh, the first Jack and Daxter game, where the guy in the lava just before you get ah, oh, it's so hard to explain if you guys haven't seen the game because I haven't played Ratchet and, or Jack and Daxter yet. Like technically I have, but you guys didn't see that series. But you should know that these guys look very similar to like another villain in that game or another boss. Oh, there's like three of them now. Okay, let's pull you all. Pull away their things. There we go. <laughs> Jeez, that was... Uh, I like how that took basically the same amount of time, maybe longer than the other things, and yet we're still just like... Eh. Alright. Do we have... I really don't know what this last one is. I want, I'm only doing this to get to the last thing because I feel like Quark's in the last one. It's the only reason why we're still doing these. Now, if he's not, or we don't get like a gadget or something, then... I still don't get any... Oh, I do get... Okay. We get, we get bullets now. We only have three. Well, that was a very quick wave. This charge thing was a great... Addition to our oh shoot! <laughs> I didn't realize these things were sinking. Okay. Uh, let's go. There we go. All of them ran down. Good job. Okay. And we're out of ammo now. Come on, Mister Man. Can we like pull them into like the lava? Oh shoot! 
Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh. Okay, we got him. Now get these guys. Oh man. Oh boy. We only got two left. Oh shoot. Oh. Come on. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Yes. Okay. There we go. Is that it? Please say that's it. <laughs> Like, I know that we have one more thing in this trophy thing, but, like, if it's for Quark, then we're gonna just save it for the next episode, I think. Uh, partner up with Gladiator with the most intended to do them all in the world. Uh. What is this? Where's Quark? Isn't he supposed to be here somewhere? Isn't that the whole reason we entered this thing? I don't know. I really don't. Anyway, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Ratchet and Clank Crack and Time. In the next episode, we will, uh, I don't know. We're going to leave here. Maybe we'll do that last one and then start the next episode. And then we'll go on to the other planet where we know uh, Azimuth is waiting for us. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Ratchet and Clank and Crack and Time. Anyway, goodbye for now, my friends.